catamenial epilepsy, a condition affecting many women with epilepsy. The link between the menstrual cycle and seizure activity is a significant area of research and clinical practice. It's not simply about increased seizure frequency, it's about understanding the underlying hormonal mechanisms. Precisely. Many women experience changes in seizure frequency or severity around their menstrual cycle, but what are the key patterns we see? We typically observe three main patterns, paramenstrual, periovulatory, and luteal phase. Understanding these patterns is crucial for effective management. And how does this hormonal fluctuation actually impact seizure activity? What's the biological mechanism at play? The interplay of estrogen and progesterone is central. Estrogen tends to promote seizures, while progesterone exhibits anti-convulsant effects. This hormonal dance throughout the menstrual cycle directly influences seizure susceptibility. So essentially, the fluctuating levels of these hormones create a kind of seesaw effect on seizure risk? Exactly. The shift in a hormonal balance during different phases of the menstrual cycle directly impacts neuronal excitability, making some periods more prone to seizures than others. How is catamenial epilepsy diagnosed? It sounds like a detailed process. Diagnosis relies heavily on meticulous tracking of seizure patterns relative to the menstrual cycle. A seizure diary, maintained for at least three months, is essential. This diary allows us to identify correlations between hormonal fluctuations and seizure activity. So it's about connecting the dots between the patient's reported seizures and their menstrual cycle? Precisely. We also utilize ovulation prediction kits and hormone level assessments to further clarify the relationship. An EEG can help identify abnormal brain activity during seizures, but the menstrual cycle correlation is key. What treatment options are available for catamenial epilepsy? Are there specific medications? There isn't one magic bullet. Hormonal therapies, particularly progesterone and medroxyprogesterone acetate, are often used to mitigate seizure frequency, especially during the luteal phase. Non-hormonal options like acetazolamide and clobazam can be used intermittently. Ganax alone is also being investigated. It sounds like a personalized approach is necessary, tailoring treatment to the individual's cycle and response. Absolutely. Treatment strategies must be individualized, considering the specific seizure patterns and the patient's overall health. Let's talk about progesterone. How effective is it compared to other hormonal treatments, such as norethisterone? While progesterone shows some promise, studies reveal its efficacy isn't significantly different from placebo in many cases. Similarly, norethisterone demonstrates comparable results. More research is needed to definitively establish the superiority of one hormonal treatment over another. So the evidence isn't conclusive on the effectiveness of progesterone compared to other options or even placebo? That's a fair summary. The existing evidence is of low to moderate certainty, highlighting the need for larger, more robust clinical trials. What are the potential side effects of using progesterone to manage catamenial epilepsy? Side effects can include hormonal effects like vaginal bleeding and breast tenderness. At higher doses, central nervous system effects such as depression, asenia, and sedation can occur. Headaches and nausea are also reported. Careful monitoring is crucial. Further investigation into the underlying mechanisms and the development of more targeted therapies are also crucial. This is a complex condition requiring a multifaceted approach. What's the most important message you'd like to leave our listeners with? Women experiencing changes in seizure frequency linked to their menstrual cycle should seek specialized care. Accurate diagnosis and individualized treatment plans are essential for effective management and improved quality of life. This has been a truly insightful discussion. Thank you for sharing your expertise and providing such a clear explanation of this complex condition. The need for further research and personalized treatment plans is clear. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.